Hello everybody, my name is Alex and welcome to episode 14 in this playthrough of Civilization 6 Rise and Fall as the Zulu Empire. So last time we left off we were doing lots and lots of interesting things including we are building the Colosseum which is going to be really useful for kind of balancing our amenities out. Hopefully that's going to going to come to fruition and we can use that to help us on our quest to keep everybody very very happy um, we've also got the government plaza we've built that and we are on we are currently working on the warlord throne we've got Liang in there kind of overseeing that operation and we're building lots of districts so we've got a harbor coming s uh, next turn we've got libraries being built everything is hunky-dory apart from the Persians. Um, so we have the Persians on our border down here, as I'm sure you will remember from previous episodes, and we just need to be a little bit careful of them. They have denounced us, and obviously we are probably expecting to have to fight them at some stage. But why can't we be the aggressors? That That's probably the question we should be raising, isn't it? Okay, so shall we skip on to the next turn? I think that might be a good idea. So a quick announcement before we get too far... Oh, Junker... Oh, it's not... Uh, Stop confusing me. A quick announcement before we get into the rest of the video. Um, this series should be updated a lot more over the next three weeks. I'm expecting like um, a new DLC to come out, so obviously we want to hit that as quickly as possible. So we need to get this done. We need to get more progress on. So while I'm off over Easter, well not off, but I've got more free time, um, we should be looking to get this um, doing... Oh, this is a nice offer. Sorry, we should be looking to make real good progress on this. Thank you, Harold. I think I will take that. The uh, the cocoa will be nice. You can have one of our furs, and the gold is also a, a, it's, it's a decent amount. It's not exceptional, but it'll do. I hope we get out of the... Uh, oh, hang on. Oh, we have already avoided the Dark Age. We are going for a Golden Age. Yes. Ooh, one more Eureka towards that, one more era score towards that, sorry, with the Eureka of Cartography. That's nice. Yay! Everybody's in the sea. By that I mean the scout. Where should we go then? We've kind of scouted out loads of this. Have we scouted out all the way up there? Hmm. We could kind of go around the continent. That might not be the worst idea. Alright, you might as well go by land. Okay, I don't know why you started talking like this, that's weird. It's like a really crap pirate. Or The Zulus will rule, rule the seas. Okay, this episode has already got particularly strange. John Curtin's built a wonder, we've got that. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, Nomwengu, you have built the harbour, which is always very nice because it brings us monies and science and things like that. So what should we go for? Housing is an issue, so I think it makes sense. The next logical step from that, and probably something I talked about in the last episode, we'll go for a lighthouse. You'll not, it'll be good for the ships coming into the harbour, but it'll also be good for housing, which is the, the main priority right now in that city. Ooh, Ethelfled has finally arrived here. Oh no, he's in Babanga, which makes sense, because that's on the border with the Persians. He can... Good. Oh, that's quite a good retiring thing, but we don't need to use that right now. I think we can just kind of send him to sleep for the time being. Yeah. We have so many great generals. So many great generals. Oh! John Curtin loves a leader who is surrounded by an impressive military. Um, well, that's us for you, John Curtin. You gotta be a bit careful though, because I am very much aware of your impending science victory, so we might want to get rid of you. We shall use the armed forces to get rid of them. Hannibal. Oh, we can claim another great person. Oh, please don't be another great general. I have so many I don't know what to do with. Ooh, a great writer. Who is it? Ovid. Sounds like David, which is Spanish. Met. Amorphosis writing. Yeah, cool. You know what? I've not actually experimented too much with the cultural side of Civ 6, even though it's been released this long. So it'll be quite interesting. We'll we'll recruit him and we'll we'll see what we want to do. We will recruit you. Where can oh we can send you to the amphitheater. Go there, perform some great works. Yay! Create I held great up works. a fistful of sand and showed it to him. Asking for as many years as grains in that pile. Foolish me. I forgot to ask they be years of youth. Ugh. Damn. 
I mean, what an awkward question. <laughs> okay, we'll take the great work. The great work's nice. It's going to help us on our path to cultural domination, even though that's kind of not what we are full on aiming for. We'll take the era score, though. That's a nice bonus as well. Things are looking quite good. All right, so we've completed a builder in Nobamba. Oh my god, we have an impending housing crisis across the empire. What should we build here then? We have a nice population, but like I said, we have housing issues, so I think we need to focus on sorting that out. An aqueduct would do that sufficiently, so that's kind of made my Oh, Jesus Christ. We've got to build on a good tile now. Well, I'm not building it there. Um, basically because I do not want to you because that'll be a good spot for a commercial hub. You've got the rivers. And I don't think we have a commercial hub, do we? No, we don't. And obviously you're getting plus three from that, so you don't really want to build that there. So where do we want to build it? Hmm. Ah, hang on. One, two. If we build it on the rice, which is, I, I admit, it's very sad. It's a waste of rice, to say the least. We'll be able to get a kind of four... We'll be able to get another gold production, so that's quite nice. How How's the city for food, though? Oh, it's fine for food. It's fine for food. Food's not the issue. Housing's the issue. So I think we will build it on the rice. We'll get all sad about it and we'll lose all that food. But hopefully we'll be able to replace it with a couple of farms um, to the best of our ability. We need housing to keep growing anyway, so it's 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 kind of a, 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 ne a means to an end, really. We need to do it. Uh, uh. What's the food like now? Uh, we've only lost three. Not the end of the world, is it? Could be a lot worse. We will, in the meantime, probably build a farm here. So that's going to give us a little bit more housing, but it also makes up a tiny bit for the food we lost. Farms, 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 farms. Yay, 24 food now. How exciting. Right, what are we doing then? I think we're just ending the turn. I think, I think that's all that there's left to do right now. Farms, farms. The farm song could possibly be the most boring ever creation if I made that up. But I'm not going to. Oh, we can create another great work. I say we do. Chance is all powerful. Always cast your fishing hook in the pond where you least expect it. You'll find it. Mm, okay. He's on it, this guy. He's creating so many great works. We're, we're creating an absolute cultural hub around him. Oh, we have an envoy. Hmm, envoys could be quite important, actually, if we think about it strategically. Because if we have the Persians in the south... Jesus Christ, do not fall... Oh, bugger off. Do not fall, Villianus. I'm not down for that. I'm not down for you strengthening Persia by falling. Is anyone else influencing Carthage? Oh, yes. Cyrus is. Now... But two's nothing, is it? The only thing I would say is that we already have Amani in there. So, deploying her elsewhere at some stage is surely going to be desirable. So, by putting another one in there, we could take her away without worry. What about Valletta? How are we looking in there? Oh, Cyrus is the Caesarean of Valletta. Sugar. Sugar, sugar, sugar. Shit. See, this is the problem, because... If we end up going to war with Cyrus, um, Valletta is obviously going to be an absolute thorn in our side. I don't want that. We could possibly try and... Oh, Jesus Christ, he's Caesarian of everywhere. Caesarian of Buenos Aires as well. Yeah. Damn it. Oh, who becomes Caesarian of Villianus? But it's a bit late for that, isn't it? Because he's already, already kind of got tucked in there. Tucked into his dinner. Antioch. Oh, we, we could actually take that away from him, which would be quite nice. I think we should do that. I think that's definitely a good idea. He'd be a little bit weaker. Aha. I don't think we're the Caesarian, but... Uh, oh, no, we are. We are the Caesarian now of Antioch. 
Ooh, things could get tasty, people. If there's a war here, it's really going to be a, a, a war of, on the whole continent. Because surely France would side with us to reclaim their lost city of Rouen. And then we have the city-states, which I have just realised we are not defending at all from. But they'd, um, they'd need to step in, wouldn't they? On Cyrus's side, and then we'd have to counter that and possibly try and press our advantage home. So that could be quite exciting. Right. I think that Archer is definitely now going to be better deployed over here in that encampment. Ooh, a barbarian encampment. Please, go and lay siege to all these disgusting Persian cities. Well, ooh, that could be a promising island. We'll have to see. Them. They disgust me, the Persians. They make enemies of us. That's why they disgust me. Um, you know what? You, my friend, who can actually upgrade to an impi. Certainly a decent idea. We are going to move you over here again. Valletta is definitely an impending threat. So let's move you over here and we'll, we'll sort you out as we go on. Yeah. Oh, damn it. I thought we had an extra archer, but we don't. Okay, let's not worry too much. Gotta sound like I was from Lancashire then. I am not from Lancashire. Okay. Oh, you're you're quite a good person to have around actually, Timur. Because if you kind, if we get attacked, I think the imp is a medieval unit. So are a lot of our other units. You're going to be able to step in and give a nice combat bonus. What's yours? Yeah. Nice. We have some real capable and useful generals right now. I, I'm, I really actually want war to break out with um, with Cyrus, I have to admit. No! No, go back! Oh, bloody hell, I've sent you the wrong way. I feel like it'd be so entertaining if it does. It's going to be real, a real interesting war. No, wrong button. Oh, I don't think we already have marble. I think we... I'm so tempted to buy the tile. Oh, cool. We're going to get um, a, th a new tier of government. Merchant Republic next turn. Let's get on with it. I am tempted to put the kind of reduced purchase tile thing in. Just to purchase the marble while we've got the builders around. There is well, no easy way to around. train an apprentice. <gasps> yes! Yes, a golden For age example, beckons. In fact, it's better than that, isn't it? Well, yeah, we've we've already got the desirable, sorry, the, the era score required for that. Okay, apprenticeships, very nice. We shall not cease from exploration. Cool, let's change our government. Ah, just, no, don't count, oh, I'll s sort you out in a minute. Change governments. A merchant republic, that sounds wonderful. I think we handpicked it from them, just because of what's going to help us best at this stage. Um, so plus 10% gold in all cities with an established governor, that will be quite nice. Plus 15% production towards districts, again. Although we have already kind of built up quite a, uh, quite a bit there, so, um, so... But overall, I like the economy policy slots, I like the wildcard. I know we are a kind of a militaristic civilization, being the Zulus, but I still think they're too, the uh, militaristic policy slots the weakest. So this is definitely what I want. Hmm. Do we take isolationism out? Definitely an option. Definitely an option. Because we could think about colonising the north, just um, to the east of, of what was the Netherlands, after before we wiped them off the face of the earth. Hmm. Okay. So let's have a think. The unit maintenance one tends to be a solid one, um, which I quite like using, um, because it gives us extra gold. Additionally, I, I, what do we put in? What do we put in the other wildcard policy slot? Because there are some... Jesus Christ, there's loads. How many tra uh, we have we have four trade routes and um, they're not all international so that wouldn't be amazing nice little bonuses though 
The housing something we require. The only problem with that is how many cities actually have three specialty districts at this stage. Hmm. I think we will actually put... We, ah. What do we put in? It's between, we'll put the science and culture in. I think we have housing almost under control and we will definitely get there. In the other wildcard policy slot, I think... Ah, no. Don't want the settlers in. I think we'll keep the, the growth... Um, we'll keep isolationism in for the growth and production. I'm not looking to actually settle cities at this stage anyway. Maybe in the next era, but not right now. I think we're okay for amenities um, for now. What should we put in for the wildcard one? Can you imagine that? I slag off um, military policy card slots and then I go and stick one in the wildcard policy? That'd be a bit hypocritical, wouldn't it? Too many policies, too many good ones. Hmm. I quite like the idea of great scientists, whether we stick that in or not. So, um, Debatable though. Again, this one with civil prestige, so plus one amenities and plus one housing for um, governors with plus three promotions. That's good, but I don't think we're there yet. God, every city, every city is on our, con uh, our original continent. Oh, you know what? I think we'll actually put this in temporarily because I want to buy some tiles. Good. Thank you for making my job easier. Jesus Christ, we are on 80 out of 77 era score, and the countdown has not already begun. A golden age really does beckon people. Ah, there we go. Lovely. More era score. I love these um, little, little event things. They really do make the game a lot better. Well, a lot more kind of personalised. Great stuff. Oh no, stop clicking on it, Alex. Stop being an idiot. Pingala is now established in Alundi, so he's going to give us a nice bonus to science. And Is it just science right now? I think it is. Have we not promoted him further? Oh no, but we are getting plus 20% increase to science and culture. Can't complain too much. Uh, because we have constructed a building that provides science as a base shield, we've got Eriscar. And because we trade, yeah. God, we have a ton of Eriscar this turn. Non Goma needs more food. Farms will support that. We're gonna build farms. We will build farms. It's, it's gonna be fantastic. Yeah. Produce, produce a builder for me, please. Ooh, tempting, 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 tempting. I think we are going to go education, actually. Um, not because it unlocks the Hagia Sophia, which we are quite unlikely to, to produce. But, because I'd like to get some universities up. If I remember correctly to the last episodes, and I'm pretty sure I do, Australia, once again, creating an absolute ton of science. I don't want them getting away this time. Not like they did in the Indonesia game. So, so I'm very reluctant to kind of let them do that. Mm, I think we'll go for Divine Right. Yeah, we'll get that out of the way. Okay, we'll buy the marble at a slightly discounted price. It's still going to be really expensive, but alright. Can you build on that now? Yay, more amenities. More production as well. Yes, you can actually repeat that because that is going to give a nice bonus to food. A really nice bonus to food. So your people shouldn't be starving anymore, so stop complaining. Ah, bugger. Oh no, it's a scout, so we can get it. Nice. I didn't think we could for a minute then. As Vilianus is looking destined to fall to the Persians. For God's sake. I hate Persia. Shall we upgrade the imp to an impi? Mm. Yes. Because we have the gold, I th don't think it's doing too much harm doing that. 
You know, now these cities are kind of more under our control. Apart from housing, it's obviously an issue absolutely everywhere, nearly. Do we need to keep so many units stationed? I mean... No. And I think these are units which are going to be better deployed in the south. So let's send you down. There we go. Okay. Hmm. I don't mind this offer, actually, because we're not looking for a cultural victory. But we also, we're not desperate for the amenities. So I'm going to have to refuse you on this one, but uh, maybe if you come back with an even better offer, because I'm naive and don't care too much about culture, I'm more bothered about con uh, I'm giving you nothing. Huh. Yeah, w um, um, no, no, you, you de um, denounce me, you're a pillock, I ain't selling you anything. Who do you think he is? Bit more era score. Lovely jubbly. We have got... You know, all these buildings that produce science as well. They're just glorious, aren't they? Gloria. Gloria. Okay, I'll start with my terrible singing. Loyalty's looking good, so no imminent need for a monument. Although... It would be quite nice for, for the um, extra culture. It's only a single one, but you know, every little helps. I think we're going to go for an arena though. And I'll tell you how we're going to go for arena. Because it's going to really help with the amenities. And if we can keep on top of them, we're going to be looking a lot better in, in the long term. So we are going to go for arena while we, we possibly don't need anything else. I don't want... We could probably do with getting the policy, which helps grade, to be honest. You can defend there. Right, what do we want to do with you now? You've got one build left. What needs builders? You have got a real housing problem coming on. We can build an aqueduct, though, which will help once the, once the campus is done. Um, so that's probably going to have to be the next part of call. I think we might go and work on the bananas. So bananas would be a plantation, I believe. There we go. Does this give housing? Yes. And gold. That's good enough for me. Nabamba should be okay with its housing. We've got the aqueduct coming. That's going to be very useful. Go and build on them bananas. Thank you. Sleep. No, no, that's skip turn, not sleep. Okay. I want the horseman to stick around here. Just so in case anyone kind of comes and settles on it, we can we, we can be very aware of that. We already had marble. Alex, you're an idiot. Oh, well. We have more marble. We have all the marble in the world. No. No one's built Col the Colosseum yet. We're still on for it. I know, but everywhere needs more housing. Stop getting on at me. Mm. We could consider a builder here. We could possibly build one. Build a builder, huh? And a candle wouldn't be a bad shout. It gives an extra housing. You know what? Do yourself a favour. Build a lighthouse. Give a bit of extra housing, a bit of extra growth, and another trade route. Um, which is going to be really nice. Trade routes. They're good for trade. Okay, so we must... Yes, we have grabbed that um, village there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We are so smashing this era, we really are. But I think we're doing so because of the fruits of our labour from the last era. Excuse me. Uh oh. Goodbye, Scout. Did I disappoint you? Did I let you do Whoa, bugger. I didn't mean to upset them. Anyway, the scout's gonna die, which but we got the village, which is really not that much of a consolation. 
Ah, not good. Did I disappoint you? Ooh, look at all these interesting things we can we can build. Yeah. Okay. So we can we well we will have a look at them, but I am aware that Amsterdam is kind of struggling right now to grow because of housing. So I think we're gonna go and bang an aqueduct down somewhere. Mm. Yeah, I think we're gonna plonk it down here. It does least damage. Ooh, a governor title. This could be quite interesting. Um Could be useful. I really like the idea of plus 30% production towards constructing districts. That's definitely a shout. We'll have a look um, what else we can use it for though. Um, Pingala. Again, this could be useful. The researcher could be useful if we're thinking about it. We've just kind of set our sights on universities perhaps. So it's 20% production towards them. Definitely not something to be to be frowned upon and to be looked down upon should I say um, I don't think Victor I mean right now I think every war we fight we kind of got in hand it's nice to have him around but we don't need to kind of prioritize um, his promotions this could be quite useful as well I mean Amani Emissary, or the cities within nine tiles not owned by you gain a little bit of loyalty towards us. That could be really useful. Hmm. I think I've set my heart on the on on Liang though here. Not in a not in a weird relationship way, but with this um, zoning commissioner plus thirty percent towards construction of districts in this city, because I know that's going to be useful straight off the bat. We are building an aqueduct. That's going to be good. So I think we're going to use that. Nice. So that should actually bring the time for the aqueduct down, which is going to be really cool. And then we can start deploying her elsewhere once we've got everything done there and, and help us build up, really. How, how are we doing for time? I think we've got a, a few more minutes. Oh wow, look, I, I supposedly absolutely... Oh uh, no, we declared friends. I'm hoping we didn't upset the French too much. Mm -hmm. Have we got an aqueduct in this place? Yes, we have. Oh dear. And it's not doing wonders still for our housing. I think farms are definitely in order here, so we are going to build a farm here. Give a bit more housing. I don't know why everything has been a song today. I, I, it's it, it, it's just a weird day. It's it's a weird day. Could kind of produce a corpse of MP. Um, can we actually do that? Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm just kind of reluctant to do that. I don't think it's necessary at this stage. I think whatever the Persians throw at us, we can probably match as soon as we turn our production towards it. So nothing to be worried about too much, I have to say. A monument could be useful because we are reasonably close to France. Uh, you know what? If we'd have, if we think about putting a Marnie in there, um, in Nungoma with the other promotion, that could be quite good for trying to convert Nantes. I mean, the French are our friends, but we're not kind of against all this behaviour. So I think we'll start with a monument, just to strengthen our own loyalty, perhaps. Um, and then... And then we'll kind of try and think about bringing Amani into play, maybe, in the, in the not-too-distant future. Ah, housing's a problem, but a library only takes four turns. I love a library. Mm. Yeah, they can suffer. Four turns for a library, I think I'll 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 choose that to be honest with you. Okie dokie. We're gonna get universities next turn. The University of Alunde. Or Alundi. 
The University the of Nabam. education is to replace an empty mind. Okay. I conclude then this point touching upon the power of kings with this axiom of divinity. None of them I that particularly to want here. God may do his blasphemy. I'm no, 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 no. I'm only going to change. I'm going to change our policies here because I'm actually just going to take the land surveyor out because um, we don't need to purchase any more tiles. I put that in for what I wanted. What I would like, and I'm not sure if we actually unlocked it. Percent discount on all unit upgrades. I think that's what we want. Wow, look, I'm putting a military policy in. But that should make it a lot cheaper for us to actually promote our ar upgrade our army, sorry. Um, so we are going to keep that in. Discount, yeah. That's what I wanted. Good, 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 good. Right, let's think about upgrading some of the things on the front line. Do we want a crossbowman there? I think we do. I think a crossbowman would definitely be more effective there. Um, and I'd probably consider... No, I think everything else is okay. I think we will promote this as well. Ooh, Eureka! More crossbowmen, we've got a Eureka. Another Era score, my god. Our Era score is absolutely overflowing here. We know you need more housing, and we know you need more housing, but we are kind of trying to sort that out in, in time. Right, what do we actually want here? It's recommending military engineering who am I to argue let's go for that it's only five turns as well bananas which should actually give a little bit of extra housing so it's a start we're gonna have to build some more farms and things but that's a nice start plus you know me you know how much I love the gold Okay, we're going to go for guild, um, pretty much because I'd rather have the governor title um, over, the, over the envoy at this stage. I think we'll use it on Amarna and we'll try and maybe cause a bit of havoc with Nante, see what we can do there. Hmm. I want the food. Because, for the housing, essentially. Oh, don't buy a tile now, Alex. For Christ's sake, man. How are we actually doing? Okay, so we've got a little bit of leeway there, so maybe we should just use this, this builder up in Lundy. Do we possibly want to get rid of some of this? I think so. I think chopping some of this down could be fruitful. Extra production. Getting the Colosseum done. Let's try and make that a priority, because that'd be great for Amin, it is. Yeah, well, we have, like, two naval cities, sure. You dare raid. You dare raid. Um, the Dutch dared attack us. Look what happened to them. Ooh. Jesus Christ, she talks about peace and friendship in an aggressive way, doesn't she? I want to be your friend. It is an honor to meet you, but calm down. Um, yeah, we can do that. I'm quite interested to see where their capitals are. Just so we have an idea of where we stand in the wo in the world. Okay. Yep. Let's chop that down. Food and production is always nice. Chops a couple of turns off as well. And now we can build a, a kind of mine on there. Okay, so I think that's going to be it for this episode. Thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed, please give it a like. If not, um, obviously feel free to give it a thumb down. So thank you very much for watching. I will see you in the next episode.